Hey guys, welcome to Racing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to learn about. This is a part two of the series of test NG interview question answer. If you haven't watched the part one, you should because that contains awesome test NG interview question that are most important ones. All right, and in this video, we are going to cover some more important questions. Those are going to help you in, to crack your next test NG interview question interview. Right, so let's get started. So guys, the first important question that is uh, very much uh, like most of the time uh, it's going to ask is that how to run test case in parallel, right? So uh, we can use the attribute parallel in your test ng file, right, to accomplish any kind of parallel testing, right? So how parallel testing uh, is basically uh, uh, basically used in your test ng is that you can uh, mention parallel is test or parallel is equal to test, right? So that what it will do is that it will basically convert all the test case inside the test tag in your test ng file will run parallelly, right? So similarly, you what you can do, you can do parallelism on classes, method, or your instances, right? So uh, similarly, uh, in the example that we have mentioned that you we are in the suit uh, uh, tag, we are mentioning that we are going to run that this suit testing academy, and we are basically parallelizing the methods. So right, so every the different different threads are going to pick up the different methods and they are going to execute that thing right and i would suggest you to watch go to this url which is how to do java and this uh, open the url it has explained the parallel execution very well and i totally recommend you to read this full, full article and this contain lots of different examples how you can do parallel execution especially in test ng related to java with methods classes suits and any kind of way right so i would suggest you strongly recommend you to do that so uh, let's come back and let's come back to the second question which is how to exclude any kind of a method from your test uh, test classes right so you can do that by mentioning exclude and the name of your method right and uh, this is this has to be done in your test ng file right similarly you can exclude the group by using exclude and the name of your group in your group group tag right and uh, how how do you disable any kind of a test you can use test uh, in your test annotation that you have used you can use enable digital to false and that will basically going to disable your test case right most most of the time whenever we see flaky test oh, means how uh, you can use this enable digital to false and commit the changes and after that uh, this test case will not be able will not run right uh, most of the time how we use practically is that we have certain legacy code where these methods or test case are not working right now we don't want to make them change but since lots of libraries are written or certain dependent test cases are there so what we can do is that we just disable those test cases right we use this uh, extensively similarly you can skip any kind of a uh, test method from your test ng by using the known uh, new skip exception so uh, you can uh, means uh, pass it uh, using this throw new skip exception and that will basically going to skip the uh, your test method from your execution right similarly uh, this is another important point which is basically is that for example if you wanted to test a login method right and uh, we are testing a login and there are dependent test cases for example after login we have uh, dashboard calls right so you what you do, don't uh, which, what you need to do is that you can use depends on uh, basically going to use a parameter in your test depends on for example there is a test a b and c and c depends on a so you can mention that it depends on test c or test b any kind of thing right in the example i have given this tool and so you can mention that it depends on groups also and if you have a group for example uh, your all the dash dashboard test cases are depends on your login test groups so if your first login group is passed then or uh, it's working then only you can run the dashboard group uh, test cases right so that you can do that using these two and attributes so how do you uh, how do i run a method multiple times you can use the invocation count uh, attribute is equal to 10 that will uh, going to execute 10 times and what is the use of thread pool so thread pool is an attribute basically tells uh, to your uh, thread pool will basically run this test method through multiple threads and it will going to execute all this test case 10 times because we have mentioned invocation time is invocation time invocation count is equal to 10 right so let's uh, come to the ninth question 
uh, which is important and which is basically tell, uh, telling us that uh, how you can time out any kind of your method that you have to time. So most of the time what we have is that for example if you are making any kind of a DB connection in our test cases for example if we are loading certain web pages and we want that okay uh, there should be a timeout means after 20 seconds we don't want this method to be run to wait for more than 20 seconds so we can mention a attribute which is known as timeout and we can pass in milliseconds or seconds depending upon your uh, met the method right and uh, that will basically going to wait this uh, for example it is 20, uh, 10 seconds it's going to wait for 10 seconds and after that if it is taking more than 10 seconds it's going to fail that test right that we want right Similarly, the most important question, which is what is the major difference between thread count and thread pool size, right? And I highly recommend you to go to the uh, documentation of test ng for this. But uh, here I am explaining thread pool size is attribute of your test annotation, which basically inform the test ng how many threads you need to spawn for a current test method. Right. It's an attribute uh, relevant to only whenever invocation, right? So uh, basically, uh, whenever if you want thread pool size basically tell you that how many uh, threads you need to spawn right where thread count basically is basically used for intensity of polarism where uh, you mentioned that thread count is equal to three means uh, we want this method to be uh, run by three different uh, threads right but i will highly recommend you to go to uh, the exact test ng dot org uh, documentation which has an in-depth tutorial around it right so I hope uh, these are the important questions, 10 important questions in test ng that you will uh, get to know. We'll have more uh, part part three, part four for this test ng also. And we are going to also start with certain test ng tutorials. Uh, practical example, these are not theoretical. They, they, these are going to be practical examples. So I hope you have liked this video and then let me know in the comments um, how you are feeling about this. And this is your host Pramod and uh, see you in the next video. Have a nice day.